Maybe not quite. Let's do a pick sound. Have you ever tried mimicking one? Now, if your electric scooter sounded like that, then we'd all want one. That is one of the things that's missing on the electric scooter, just that, that sort of raw energy. So we're riding an electric scooter behind an electric taxi looking for climate protesters in London. And I'm not sure if the rain's put them off today, but we've not found more if they're just all glued yeah, to tube trains. Seems like they were gluing themselves to all sorts this morning. Still got 20% um, battery left. And we've been right from Walthamstow right into the centre of town. Done all the tourist stuff. Not found any protesters. But we've had a right good ride round. And to be honest, the scooter's been quite good fun. It's, uh, Easy to ride, but fast enough for city use. Cheap enough to run, that's for sure. So who's likely to buy something like this then? First of all, if you live in England, it's very, very easy to get this legally on the road. Basically, send your uh, logbook back to DVLA. Run! Tell them you've been changed to electric, get it back, job done. Nile at Retrospect has been trying to get some sort of something a bit more substantial really to show people when they're buying one that is legal. But he can't even get one. He's tried Myra, he's tried DVLA, Voza. Um, they're quite happy with the conversion as it is and there's no need for any more paperwork. So if you live in the UK, really easy to, easy to ride your PX, your Vespa small frame, your Lambretta. LD, GP, LI, J range, and all sorts of odd scooters. Ride them straight to retrospective and they'll convert it for you within a couple of days. You can also buy it as a kit so you can convert it yourself. It's not overly technical, but um, not everyone that wants to do that sort of stuff. And the good thing about it is it's all reversible. So if for any reason you want to sell your scooter back as a petrol vehicle, then perfectly doable. Or you can just sell the engine with it and people have got a choice then. If you live abroad, it's not quite that simple. Although, uh, retrospective of working with a couple of people in Belgium and Holland to try and get the legislation sorted so they can have some franchise dealers in each country and customers can go to them and get a conversion done. Plus all the legal paperwork. Obviously, they're a lot stricter in places like Germany. But there's a chance that they might be able to get that sorted. We're just working on that at the minute. He's also working with um, Stoffy in Austria. So Stoffy will probably end up being one of the franchise dealers. If you remember back on Scooter Lab quite a while ago, we did have a uh, Stoffy conversion on a small frame probably three years ago. Uh, that I kind of ground to a halt. I believe that the person that was working on that for Stoffy um, moved on, so it's never sort of got any further. And I think. Uh, retrospective have pretty much got it sewn up they've done lots of groundwork on this and they've got a really good usable product the other thing with these conversions at the minute it's just running one battery um, there's the option certainly on a Lambretta it's really easy to add an extra battery to double your range and um, they will be working on a switchable battery so you've got two batteries in place and you just literally switch it over a bit like going on reserve on a petrol scooter and you're off again. There's also the option on the PX to have a extra battery under the side panel where the engine casing normally would be. At the minute it's just a dummy uh, engine there which could be, most of that could be removed to give you some space. The Lambretta is easy enough that you can slip two batteries in quite easily in the area where the uh, tank and toolbox would usually be. So, if I lived in a ULES zone, commuted in a city, didn't need a scooter that was going to do rallies, because at the minute you're not going to do a rally on this, unless it's in the back garden, or 30 miles away at least, then I think these conversions are a winner. You've got the classic looks of a traditional scooter, you've got no maintenance or very low maintenance, very low running costs, very low servicing costs, but you've still got that old style. So in years to come, we'll all be junking our expensive Cassie S ones. They'll be getting scrapped because you won't be able to use them anywhere. It's a sad state of affairs, but it's true. But for the time being, if you can use it wherever you live, then I suggest you enjoy your two strokes and your older four strokes. Do as much as you can on them. Travel abroad, travel in the cities. Use them as much as possible because 
in the not too distant future, they'll be gone. And that's not scaremongering, that's truth. Well, kids that are growing up now, just started school, will probably never ever drive a petrol vehicle, and that's quite frightening. I'm hoping they don't run out of battery in here. I think I need to stop after this tunnel. It's showing up on red and 0%, which is, I've not noticed it to be honest. It might go up a bit when I'm not actually moving, but even the throttle shut is showing 0%. Luckily there's a pavement, so if I do uh, stop, at least I'll be sort of safe. I can see daylight, which is good. Come on. No, we don't want daylight, it was a car headlight. I think this is probably the Black Wall Tunnel, but I'm not sure. I'm not really from London. Oh, it probably is a Black Wall Tunnel, look. All the walls are black. I'm hoping it's not a very long tunnel. Is that daylight? Am I saved? Sorry. To be fair though, if it was a petrol scooter, I've run out of petrol plenty of times as well. Every time I try and open up a little bit, oh, it has gone. Oh. <laughs> So this is us just uh, doing a little fuel lean issue in the middle of a tunnel. I nearly made it. Luckily I've got a spare battery. Right then, let's get this battery changed. There's some dickhead on the bike coming. One battery out. Getting up to 50 mile an hour quite easy on this uh, bit of dual carriageway. So you can't really grumble at that. It keeps up with stuff like that. X-Max in front. 